St. Nicholas, the Real Story of the Christmas Legend by Julie Stegemeyer, illustrated by Chris Ellison. A man named Nicholas lived a long time ago in a village by the Turquoise Sea. The village was called Mira in a faraway country called Lycia. It was just 300 years after Jesus walked the earth. Every day, Nicholas swept through the village in his long robes. A circle of children, eager for his smile, followed him wherever he went. The children knew that Nicholas loved them and always had a kind word for them. For you see, Nicholas was the pastor of this village by the sea. He shared Jesus Christ's overflowing love with the people in all he said and did. He baptized them. He gave them the Lord's Supper, and he always reminded them of God's love. One chilly day, Satka, the littlest of the village children, did not follow Nicholas when the others did. Instead, he sat crying on the stone steps of the church. Nicholas noticed the brown-haired boy and asked gently, Satka, where is your smile today? My father's upset, Pastor Nicholas. He keeps asking, what will happen to my girls? Nicholas dried Satka's tears and said, let's go talk to your father. The tall man and the little boy walked down the dusty streets. Stone houses dotted the hillside above the rocky cliffs by the sea. As Satka and Nicholas approached the humble home, they saw three girls and their father. Katya, my dear man, I hear there is trouble, Nicholas said. With a heavy sigh, Katya explained that his daughters wanted to get married, but they had no dowry. In those days long ago, when ladies wanted to get married, they needed money or other things of value to set up a home. This was called a dowry, but this family was very poor, and Anna, Katerina, and Lydia did not have dowries. The girls could not get married. Nicholas looked kindly at Patya, his longtime friend. I know you're worried. I would like to help your family. We will pray to God and trust that he will find a way. Patya nodded. Yes, we will pray that our Father in heaven will help my daughters. Nicholas prayed night after night in the candlelit church and wondered how God's love would pour out to this family. He thought about all the good things God had given him, and he thought about God's greatest gift of all, sending Jesus to save us from our sins. The Nicholas had an idea. Nicholas rose from his bed that same night in the frosty darkness, Cloaked in fur, he struggled against the bitter cold through the empty streets. Soon he arrived at the house where Satka and his sisters lived. When he arrived at the sleeping house, Nicholas gently pushed open the shutter that covered the window. Very carefully, he dropped something onto the floor taking great care to be as quiet as possible so he didn't disturb the family. Then Nicholas pulled the shutter closed and walked back home, smiling to himself along the way. Morning came, and with it a wonderful surprise for Anna, Katerina, and Lydia. 
On the floor, next to their shoes, they found three bags of gold. Now they had their dowries. Now they could marry and set up homes of their own. With tears in his eyes, Patya led his family in prayer. Lord, from your bounty you gave us your own dear son. Now your blessings have poured out to us again. We give you thanks and praise. Amen. In time, all three of Patya's daughters got married. Pastor Nicholas blessed the couples and told them, Whenever you are sad, whenever you are afraid, remember, God will help you. And God always did. Nicholas was filled with Jesus' love, so much so that love poured out through everything he said and did. Tale of Pastor Nicholas's kindness and generosity spread throughout the land. He became known as Father Christmas. And to this day, people continue to give gifts at Christmas, like Nicholas did, as a way to share God's love and show kindness to others. God is even more generous and loving still. God gave us the greatest gift we could ever imagine. He gave us a savior, Jesus Christ. At Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Jesus and how he came as a baby, but eventually would die for the sins of the world. Jesus is the real gift of Christmas. And like Nicholas, we are filled with Jesus' love so we want to share that love with others. Dear Grown Up, Although this story is somewhat fictionalized, Nicholas is a real historical figure who lived in the fourth century. He was Bishop of Mira, a city in Lycia, Asia Minor, what is modern day Turkey. The region is situated on the Mediterranean Sea across from Greece. The people of Mira had already heard the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ before Nicholas came to serve them. The Apostle Paul had traveled there on his missionary journey. This visit is recorded in Acts 27, verses 5 through 6. As a Christian, Nicholas suffered persecution under the Roman Emperor Diocletian and was imprisoned until Constantine came into power and showed tolerance to Christians. Tales of Nicholas's generosity were widespread, and he became patron saint of Russia. In Europe, he was known as Father Christmas, and in America, Santa Claus. Legends about his home at the North Pole, flying reindeer, and distributing gifts all over the world on Christmas Eve were created to enhance his story. But his generosity is based in historical fact. The story of his supplying the dowries for the three girls is believed to be factual. Nicholas' feast day, the day he died, is December 6th. Many families observe St. Nicholas Day by having the children in the home place their shoes by the door when they go to bed the night before. When they awaken on the morning of December 6th, their shoes are filled with bags of gold foiled wrapped chocolate coins that were secretly placed there during the night. The significance of Nicholas for us today is that his response to God's great love for us in Jesus was to care for other people. His kindness and care for children are modeled every time we give a gift out of love. The Author <laughs>